Hello, my name is Austin. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been probably almost nine months since I've made a video, but I am back permanently. Everything is going to be great. I'm going to start on those suggestions that everyone has been sending to my email. But today we are going to dive into something that is uh, kind of a short video about the synthesizer that was used in eventually by Tame Impala. So I threw some vocals on it so you can know what point the synthesizer happened. So take a listen. If only So, there is a lot going on here um, for the synthesizer on that part. So, Kevin Parker is most notably known for using the Juno 106. So, on eBay, they're about $1,600. But, um, you know, if you use a computer, you can get the digital version, uh, which is way less. So, that's what I did. So, you open it up. You go to AU Instruments, and this is where all the... Uh, Rolling things that I have, Juno 106 stereo. I already have one pulled up, and it sounds just like the actual console. So I went to the patch, and I found A4, which is BR Juno P saws, and I liked the way that one sounded because it sounded similar to it. And I adjusted some settings. So I can't remember which settings I adjusted, but I know I definitely adjusted a lot in this section so you're going to want to match all of these settings and hopefully you will have the same sound that I did so take a listen with the special effect that I'm about to tell you off and tell me if you can see a difference So, it sounded a little bit different there because I had the tremolo turned off. So tremolo is what gives it that effect in the song where slowly the tremolo will build up and the sound will pan left and right really fast. And it sounds really cool and I emulated it using tremolo which is in modulation. Tremolo, make sure it's in stereo. And once you have it loaded up, it will have three options. I put the rate at about 9.99. Uh, it could be a little faster or a little slower. I'm not quite sure. Uh, the smoothing stays the same. These both stay the same. Depth is the one that you are definitely going to want to control via automation. And so that's exactly what I did. So if you open up automation right here, you can tell that I have already done the automation for you. So at these specific points in the song, it builds up, builds up, and then drops right back down instantly. So, let me show you how that works. Take a listen. If only there could be another way to do this. Cause it feels like now. So hopefully you were able to see how that works. So the bottom part, I didn't put it ex at zero exactly. I actually put it at 20. So it's going to drop back down to 20 every single time. And it's going to jump up to 85% because I don't want it to go too in depth. So these are two good points to have it at. And if you listen to the song, you'll know when it activates 
when it reaches its peak and when it reaches uh, back down to the bottom at 20. And I think this sound sounds really close to the sound from the album. And um, when I was playing it just now, I forgot to turn off the vocals, so hopefully you heard it. And that should be pretty much everything for that one synthesizer. So that's good. I did not do any EQ, nothing like that. Sounds good the way it is. And yeah, so there you go. Um, hopefully you know what keys to play. You can see them right here. And I'm sure you'll figure it out. Um, thank you again. I have some more suggestions that I'm going to be working on. If you have a suggestion for any sound in any music that you would like me to dissect and figure out, I will gladly do so and make a video. Uh, the email is in my description. Um, thank you for watching. Um, see you later.